Super Kentaro making another SNES Pi 3 case, this time with massive improvements, a working reset, shut off, shut down, still has a great heatsink, improved ventilation, and much, much more. Let's have a peek at this gem. Super Kentaro at it again, superhuman, this time with the 2.5 over 9,000. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is brand new from Super Kentaro. And what's different right off the bat, there's the bottom. Yeah, set that on there. Look at that cute little thing there. Very nice. Working reset button and working on off switch. Uh, it does have a working LED. These inputs in the front are just aesthetic. It does say Super Kentaro, and this is a sticker that can be removed. There is a little bit of ventilation up here at the top in the holes. The eject button says eject, but it does not actually work. And then the brand logo in the upper right hand corner there. On the left side, you have a spot for your micro SD card. On the back, you have a spot for all your inputs. Something I like about this is that they they etched it out, so even if your HDMI or audio out has a large shielding, it's not going to get it, uh, it's not going to get affected by this. Great ventilation on the top there. On the left side here, you got your USBs and your LAN, and then on the bottom, you have some great ventilation. So that thing on the bottom is just for aesthetics. In the fine print here, it just says Super Kentaro Kuma Control Deck, model number SKK-001, ratings DC 5 volt, 2 amp, used with USB adapter only. All right, this is made with uh, ABS plastic, and there's your um, start and stop with built-in GPIO connectors there. This does come with a script you can install. It also does come with heatsink paste, and that beautiful large heatsink for your Raspberry Pi 3. Now for this test, we are gonna go ahead and put this heatsink on, and a little bit on the LAN card as well. All right, let's go ahead and smush that down. And then we're gonna place that into the, into the case all three at the same time. All right, we now have the Pi inside the case. You see the ports all right there. And then your inputs and outputs. So side by side with the previous version, this version you can buy right now. This version is the brand new version that's not available yet. This one does not have moving switches. This one does have moving switches. Ventilation at the top is the same. Um, this looks like it was like a water add-on where this one looks like it was a sticker. This logo in the back is about the same. The eject button is about the same. The coloration is totally different. This is white. This is the, the, that gray that the, that the stock US SNES looked like to start with. The left sides are exactly the same. The back sides are just about the same. Yeah, let's say so. I don't see any major differences except the color. On the side there, just about the same. And on the front, you get a LED light where you do not get an LED light. I, I rubbed some stuff on here. You get an LED light where you don't get an LED light on the old model. On the back side, there are quite a bit of differences here. Way more um, ventilation on the new one. And uh, the screw holes are in a little different place. Same kind of foam uh, legs, but you also have that little... I think eventually they want to make that into like a storage locker maybe for memory cards and then you have the information there. And there you have it. Those are the main differences. The heat sinks are exactly the same. All right, so for this part of the video, I have it simultaneously running the uh, stress test. So they're, they're within a few seconds of each other and uh, it should give you a readout of how quickly 
when the pie is fully stressed at all cores running at the 1.2, this was not overclocked, at what kind of temperatures it would go with. The one with the heat sink is, they're both in the Kantaru case, one with the heat sink on with thermal grease and one without, but it did have a little residual thermal grease on it. But you'll notice that there's a significant difference. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music, I'll also cut to a scene here so you could see what kind of setup uh, I was actually running and you could see that this test was in the Kantaru case, in fact. I guess in four or five years, uh, the new uh, generation's music will be, um, <clears throat> it'll have uh, a synthesis of those two elements and some third thing that'll be entire. Maybe it'll be, uh, they might rely uh, heavily on uh, uh, electronics, uh, tapes. All right, there's your Super Kantaru case. We're not using the this case here. We've got the Super Kantaru with the heatsink, brand new. And then you can see here on the computer. All right, we're doing this stress test again. Same with the Kantaru case again. But this time we have the heatsink off. There was a little resi residual um, thermal grease on the top. But as you can see here, we're jumping to 65 degrees just right out the gate. So from any RetroPie image, go ahead and hook up a keyboard, make sure you're online, hit F4. You're gonna go to the command line and type what I have here on the top. I'll go ahead and write it again here on the bottom. sudo wget-o space dash https, all that. And then to get that straight line, by the way, I just hold alt 0166, we'll give you that, that little line right there. Go ahead and hit this, hit enter, and then you'll go through all the process below. It'll download that file from Dropbox. And then go ahead and just do a sudo reboot. And then your computer, your uh, Raspberry Pi will reboot and your uh, shutoff switch should now work properly. It's that easy. So there you have it, the new improved Kentaru 9000, also known as the version 2.5. I'll put links in the description. It's supposed to be available later today or shortly after. Let me know if you guys got any questions. I definitely gotta give this one an A. I mean, it's awesome. Safe shutdown and reset, uh, looks great, easy to put together, and I think it's gonna be priced really well. So I think it's gonna appeal to a lot of people. And who doesn't like that original SNES classic look? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.